Hi everyone, Elon here again and uh, in the last live that I made, if you didn't get a chance to see it, definitely check it out, scroll up, it'll be somewhere. Um, I spoke about how to get out of the proverbial rat race and how we're constantly outside chasing cheese. And I mentioned in that uh, video that there was this incredible connection between the mind and the heart. And I wanna just take a few minutes and, and share that with you because it's really important to understand a, where you're making our, your decisions from, how you're perceiving the world, and then ultimately how to actually shift that for yourself personally and then obviously that, that can create a whole different human society for us all. So the first thing to consider is that this and this are tools to perceive reality. If you imagine that this is a, think of it like a computer, right? There's different perceptions, tools that this computer has. So the one is here, and this is the one where most human beings are stuck in. Now, this is a learning machine, okay? So if you think about how do we perceive the world, we're constantly getting information. The mind starts to compartmentalize these bits of information. And if you think of like, a brick wall of your life, every time you get a piece of information, you analyze the brick and you put it into this wall of yours. And that wall, like this brick has to fit into the wall that you already have because the perception, the way this works is, it wants to keep you feeling safe, it wants to keep you feeling uh, secure. And so if you get a brick or a piece of information that doesn't fit in line with your already existing perception of reality, you're just not going to use it. At least most of us are not going to use it. So this perceives reality. This has a knowing because this is connected to the infinite. This gets come, it, it's built in with intuitive guidance because it's plugged in to a different realm. This can only perceive what is happening at any given moment. This has connection to the infinite. Here's where it gets really tricky. This and this have completely different communication methods. Think of it like two completely different languages, right? Now, culture, the powers that be, whether it's our governments or media or whatever it might be, they know that the way this shuts down, the way that you don't have access to this superpower that we've all been gifted is through fear. Because if your body is in a fight or flight mode, instantly all the energy goes up here. Because when we're in fight or flight, there's a part back here in our brain called the amygdala. It's the reptilian brain. And it fires up and it takes all 100% of the juice that's in your body to try to get you out of this scary situation. And that's what it does. Now, media, politics, all of that stuff, they all know that a scared human being has no access to this. This shuts down when that person is scared. Now check this for a second. Look at some of the most impactful decisions you've ever had in your life. Whether it's choosing to marry the person that you married, whether it's taking a huge risk and maybe starting a new business or exiting a business, um, maybe moving somewhere new, etc. When you talk about it, when you talk about that story, do you ever go, you know, I just, I just knew that that's what I needed to do? Or is your body language more like, you know what, I just knew. I just knew it was the right thing for me to do. Now, why do you do that? Because there's a knowing in here and the biggest decisions of your life, the ones that everyone around you may have even said to you like, you're crazy. Why would you ever move over there? Or why would you? And you're like, I just know. I just know. 
And it's in these moments that we actually tap into this much greater capacity because in that realm, wherever that realm might be, there's a knowing. There's not an understanding. There's not a perceiving and structuring and doing all that stuff. There's an actual deep knowing. Your truth comes from here, not from here. But if you continue to live the way society wants you to, in a fear-based mode, you just live up here. This is the only thing you have access to. And when this is the only thing you have access to, you're only going to perceive reality in a very, very specific way. The way that they want you to perceive reality. And that perceived reality has no magic in it. It has no knowing in it. It has no intuitive guidance in it. Because it's all programmed for you to stay safe and for you to stay in line. Because you know what? It's scary to take those big risks. It's scary to, this is what they're all telling you, right? It's scary to take those big risks. It's scary to go down a different path. The truth is, it's scary only when you live up here. Because if you think back to those moments that you had that deep knowing, yeah, there may have been a little bit of chirping in the background, but nothing stopped you. You made that thing happen because it was like a pull towards something greater. You didn't even know what the next steps would be sometimes, but it's just like, I'm going to move in this direction. We as humans have the ability to live from that place. The mind was only ever designed in a human body to perform tasks. It was never designed to figure out what your next steps were. That was the heart's job. We somehow gave all the power to the mind because it's safer to control humans when we live in mind. If you were to take on daily practices, practices that can help you to get back into harmony where you can start using the heart for what it was intended to do, tap into the knowing, give you that knowing, and then that knowing goes to the mind and says, hey, I need you to complete this task. When you have that kind of alignment in your body, you're humming. This is when people talk about that they're in flow or they're on the path and everything starts just showing up for them. It's entirely possible to do that. It just takes new daily practices. And if you want to learn how to do that and create that alignment, Bring the power back to your divine knowing, that intuition, and let the mind just focus on the action steps. Head over to satoriprime.com forward slash live right now. Satoriprime.com forward slash live right now. Book yourself a ticket for a two-day live event. This is exactly what we're going to be talking about. How to get the mind back to doing what it was designed to do. How to get the heart back alive and in line so you can now perceive the world from here and regain that knowing that has led you already in life to the greatest things in your life. So toryprime.com forward slash live. Come back to being a human, the design of human, and allow yourself to live a magical, fruitful, peaceful life versus the fearful, stressed, anxious, constantly looking for what that next thing is. It's toryprime.com forward slash live. Hope to see you there. Till then, have an amazing day, my friends.